Hi, this is Jill and I'm glad to see that you've joined me again for my second tutorial. This is the first tutorial on beginner's crochet work on how to do a slip knot and how to just do a simple chain and um, there are different ways of doing it. This is the way that I do it. Whatever I'm showing you is the way that I do it. It's the way I'm comfortable with, the way I've been taught and um, so yes, I hope that you will enjoy being with me and I hope that you're going to learn a lot from me. So let's get started. Okay, let's get started. This is the wool that I'm going to be demonstrating with. It's called Hometown USA and it is the Phoenix Azalea wool. Um, I don't usually crochet with such thick wool, but for the tutorial it's going to be a lot easier to show you how to um, start off your crochet work and you'll be able to see it a lot clearer. To find out what size crochet hook you need, you need to be looking on your label. They have it in different places, but on this specific one, it's right beneath the picture. It says that it's a super bulky six and that you need a crochet hook in a size nine. If you want your crochet work to be looser, you're gonna to have to use a thicker needle, a bigger needle, which would probably be a size 10. But if you want it to be tighter, you would go smaller than the nine. But the size that they recommend for this wool is a size nine. So we're gonna be using the size nine and I'm going to show you the very first thing that will get you started and that is to do a slip well, knot. Now let's get started with the very beginning of your crochet work and you're going to, I'm gonna teach you how to do a slip knot, how to get the wool onto your hook so that you can begin crocheting. You gotta hold it between, this is the way I do it. You hold it between your, your finger and your thumb and you take, wrap the wool around your finger and take it towards the left. I always just wrap it over there, it makes it easier. So let me show you again. Wrap it around your finger, around your finger and towards the left. One more time. It always looks simple, but when you're not sure, I'd rather show you more times than less. Wrap it around your finger and go towards the left. Now you're gonna lift this piece, the bottom piece up, put your hook in and simply grab that other piece and bring it through. And there you have your slip knot. So let's do that again. Take your finger, your two fingers, wrap this piece of yarn around your finger towards the left, pull the bottom piece up, put your hook in and pull this piece through and just tighten it. You know, once you've done it a few times, it becomes second nature. It really is not hard. Last time. Between your two fingers, wrap the wool around your finger to the left, pull the bottom piece up, put your hook in, grab that piece and bring it through and then you simply pull these two and it's going to tighten it. Then you just pull these two, you just pull it so that it fits on your hook nicely. Now everybody crochets with a different tension. Some people crochet a lot tighter than others, it's going to depend on you. My daughter crochets a lot tighter than what I do. And the other thing you will notice is if you become very tense, you do crochet tighter than other times. So be aware of the mood that you're in because you'll find that your tension is very different on different articles that you make. So, okay, now that we've done that basic, I'm going to show you how to do a chain. Now, there are different ways of holding your wool and different ways of holding your needle. I was taught to hold my needle like this, so that's the way I hold it. A lot of people hold it like this. Um, if, you, if you're really a beginner, I would suggest holding it like this because I find that my hand gets very tired when I hold it this way. But that's the way I've learned and I don't want to slow down and learn a new way. So for me, I just keep going. Then you want to have your this yarn, you want to have the tension right for you. So what I do is I wrap it around this finger, I simply wrap it around and then I hold it. Um, you got to find out what works for you. This is what works for me because now I can move my wool at the tension that I like and it's not going to just slip out. If you just hold it like this, you've got no control. It slips out your hand. So I wrap it around my finger and then I just hold it like that and I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. As I say, you can hold your hook this way, you know, and crochet like this or you can hold it this way. As I say, for me, this is a lot easier. So last time, wrap it around your finger, 
and hold it in the way that's easiest for you. Now you've got tension. Now to do a chain stitch, you're going to go towards the left. Some people tend to want to go towards the right. That's not the right way. Take it, put your hook towards the left hand side and come under your yarn, wrap it around and bring it through. Now you've made one chain. This is the very basics of crochet work. Come under from the left hand side, come under, pull it through and there's your second chain. Very easy. Let's do that again. You come under and pull it through. Come to the left hand side, never this way. That'll give you some weird stitch, which I suppose it has its place somewhere, but <laughs> you're gonna go to the left, to wrap the yarn around and pull it through. Let me do two more for you and then you should be on your way. To the left, wrap it around, bring it through, and there's another chain. To the left, wrap it around, through the loop, and there you go. And this is what your chain actually looks like. As I say, this is incredibly thick wool. And um, it's, you know, it depends on what you make. It makes wonderful scarves, nice and thick. But that's generally what your, your crochet, your chain stitch looks like. This is the right side, and that is the wrong side. So now you, will, you know that's the right side. It just looks more even, and this is a bit more ridgy here. But that is the basics of chain and getting started. And in my next tutorial, I will be showing you the next step to get you started. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that I've helped you. And I hope that you join me in my next tutorial. Bye.